If you want to make a unique professional logo like the ones you see here without having any design experience whatsoever, then this tutorial is perfect for you. So let's get started. So as an example, let's make a logo like this. So open up a blank canvas by going to logomaker.com forward slash app. That's L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R without the E dot com forward slash app. And you're going to see a blank canvas like this. Let's go ahead and add an icon by going up to the top of this right here where you could search for millions of icons. I'm going to type in lighthouse. Here's an icon that I'm going to use right here. So now you could take this icon and you could move it around. You could take the corners and you could resize it and you could change its color as well. Right now, I'm just going to keep it black. The next thing I want to do is I want to put a sun in the back of this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my shapes here and I'm just going to get a circle just like this. There you go. Now I'm going to put it over this. I'm going to click, hold and drag to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to choose a color. Let's go ahead and choose like an orange's color. That's pretty good right there. And I'm going to drag this to the back. There's two ways of doing this. You could go to the layers and move it to the back like that. Or you could go and you could click on this option area and you could click send to back. There you go. You can move it around to make it just right. And that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and add some text to the bottom. I'm going to click on the T right here and it's going to add some text to the canvas. I could click and hold this and move it down to where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and type in lighthouse. Now I'm going to go ahead and change its color by going to this color palette and changing its color. Now I want to change the type of font. So I'm going to go up to this area right here. I'm going to click on the category that I want which I want a bold category and I want to change it to a different font. I'm going to use this font right here. That looks pretty good. Now I could move it around again and I think that looks great. Now let's go ahead and add a tagline down here. I'm going to go ahead and go over to this T here. Click on it. I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to change its color and I'm going to go to a different category now. I'm going to go to thin fonts and I'm going to go to that same font but except it's thin. There you go. And let's type this in. There you go. And I'm going to expand this and make it a little smaller. And that looks pretty good. And there you have your custom professional logo. Now I want to just crop everything next by going down to this crop button on the right bottom. Click this crop button. And I want to get it just right. Just a little bit of spacing on all sides of this. There you go. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to click this apply crop button. There you go. Now let's go ahead and save this logo by clicking the save logo up on the top right, right here. And you're able to see what it looks like on t-shirts, bags, mugs, and so on when you get the upgraded version. It looks really, really nice. I love it. And if you love your logo, I'd recommend getting the high resolution license files by clicking the button here. Here you'll receive professional grade design files you could use on your website, social media, and professional printing. It looks really good. Or if you're looking for something even more custom and would like our team to help you create a professional logo from scratch, so you could copyright it and it looks different from everybody else's, giving you unlimited revisions and concepts, then click the link below to learn more. Either way, I hope this video helps and I will talk to you on the next one.